welcome back to the channel. So excited. Uh, the back end's going to be sorted out in this video, so stay tuned. Uh, I nearly lost my voice then when I was speaking. I swear. I love that film. I'm going to be cutting the bump stops down. That's one of the things that I have issues with in the rear end of my bus. Um, I'm going to be making sure... Oh God, this bus is so nippy with a new clutch. It's like driving a sports car. We're heading down to see a gentleman called Mr. Simon Hodson. Uh, now Simon has been in the bus business um, he has been a driver of a low van for quite a considerable time. Uh, he did go Swamper. I believe Swamper lasted five minutes. I don't know. He said he didn't like it. Um, so, another T5 driver. Call it, yeah, you just give him a wave. Some of them wave back, some of them don't. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be able to ask him a few questions because he has also installed the Gaz Ultra Low Kit. Good morning, Simon. <laughs> 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 Right, the van's jacked up. Um, before we get started, what we need to do is remove the old shocks and we're gonna take the springs out as well. To do that, you're gonna need a couple of tools. Uh, you're gonna need a 21 uh, spanner and socket set. And you're also gonna need a 19 for the top of the strut. Simon, Simon, Simon said it was 18. All right, so this is the nut and bolt you're looking for, which holds the bottom of the suspension strut, or the, the shock. Oh, that's tight. You might need a spanner to hold the other, the head of the nut, but it should be all right just undoing it because the pressure. Give it a little bit of lift and a wiggle, and that's it released. Put it somewhere safe. Right, I'm just going to take you in here so you can see the nut that you need to release next. Um, is this one here? I suppose it's the the left side of the top of the strut, and that's just a bolt. So we're going to take that out. It's a 19 mil, not an 18. Um, yeah. So what I've done is um, I've gone and got the uh, 18 mil because um, it's an 18 mil. That's comedy, comedy at its best. I was wrong. This is just, yeah, this is an 18, my bad. But yeah, so you wanna just take this out. Uh, you can already see that the strut itself can become loose. Um, they're not very heavy, so don't worry. So make sure, again, you put in all your bolts somewhere safe. But that's the bolt coming out. And then obviously the strut itself is now longer, no longer needed. So it's just a little comparison of the rear shocks and what we're looking at. This is the um, Starts Plus one. Uh, and this is the Gaz Short Shock. Uh, these are available in a variety of sizes. Um, most companies will take an order uh, and then perhaps ask you what size and dimensions and all that malarkey. So these are the two. Obviously this is the Gaz and this is the Stance. There is nothing wrong with the Stance kit. Uh, this video isn't about trying to up like and say that they're rubbish. These are a good budget coilover kit. The reason I'm fitting the Gaz shocks is that I've then able to adjust them. I can adjust the rebound. I can make the rear end of my bus less bouncy. 
so what I'm going to do now is just um, let Simon do a little bit of a brief chat on them because uh, he knows a little bit more about it than I do. So technical differences. This, perfectly adequate, although very bouncy. Tom's van is, is really quite simple, three quarter bed, um, not really very heavy units. Would have been okay for his van. These, gas adjustables. So rebound and compression, lots of adjustability. If you have a full width, you know, big camper, full build inside, you would want them set to quite hard because your van is, you know, quite weighty in the rear. So that's the benefit of these. Like Tom, very simple job, you know, quite, quite a, a mediocre build in, in the back, not very heavy. So therefore Tom would want his set slightly harder. So that's the benefit, you can dial them in, hence the dial. So 19 clicks, I have these on my own van, I run them at around about the centre because I'm like Tom, I have a very simple build in the back. But yeah, that's the benefit of them, you can have the ride that you require. That's it. That's it folks. Now, if you need any questions answered, comment below. And if, you, if I can't help you with that, um, I'm sure this guy can. Okay, one of the jobs we're gonna do uh, whilst we've got the van up in the air is to move the ABS sensor lines. Now, I wasn't low enough um, to get these trapped, but whilst I'm here, it serves its purpose just to get these sorted. Um, so what you're gonna need to do is get yourself a metal drill bit that's roughly the same size as the holes that were already in there. And then I'm literally going from where the hole was to place it on the side. So with your drill, nice, quite straight, straight, blah, 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 blah. nice and straightforward. Lingo this morning a bit off. Just get your hole on the side here. There's one, so that'll be that one. And then we're gonna put one just down here above this access point. Out there. Bouge. Nice and sweet and sexy. Right, that's that done. So put these funny little clips back on. One just about here. If you can get the clip on. Push her in. Nice little relocation of that bad boy. And again with this one, put the old clips back on. Make sure it's up tight in it. Nice and tight. Put it in. So that's been relocated, so it's not on the top. So it's not gonna get squashed against any of the bodywork, potentially. Um, so yeah, right, here we go. Next step is we're gonna trim these little bad boys down. Just thought while we're here, I'm just gonna have a look at the master at work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what Simon is doing is reupholstering his door cards. Um, now I'll be able to go and show you the other one in his van in a second. But he's putting some very nice suede on there. He likes a bit of suede. And this is the little finished result. Lovely suede, really good attention to detail. I mean, I don't like to big this guy up in front of him, but he is proper good. Soft hands, soft hands. Right, so what I'm gonna be doing is removing uh, part of the lower bump stop. Now, I'm not going to be low enough to warrant having uh, or to be removing the top one. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of tools I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to be using an angle grinder. And fortunately, uh, for today's video, I'm in a workshop. Um, so I have got access to a whatever air saw jobby jobby. Now, I do gather um, that some of you obviously that are doing this on your driveway at home, you won't have access to tools like that. But just make sure you've got a really, really decent metal saw. Uh, I mean, you might even be able to do it all with the angle grinder, 
um, but it's kind of like the angles you've got to get to are a little bit tricky. Um, so first of all, we're going to make the cut with the angle grinder and then we're going to use the air saw to take the top off. we're going to put these back in what I've done is I've set these halfway which is uh, half of 19 clicks is eight I've got good maths um, so these are set on eight both sides are set on eight so it's halfway um, so then either way I can adjust it um, so there's a bit more damperage or a bit less right so reassembling this first thing I'm going to do is put the top bolt in to hold the strut in place at the back um, I was slightly wrong earlier on, and Simon was right, but you would expect that as he is working on these bands for a very long time. This is an 18mm bolt. So we're gonna just get this done up nice and tight. Job done. Okay, that's this side kind of set. Let's get it in the right position. That's nice. Right, I'm going to go around the other side and get that side sorted out. What we're going to do now is fit the lower bolt. Now, with the use of a trolley jack, um, I don't suggest you put it straight onto uh, your disc or anything. Just put a chunk of wood in there. Uh, we're just going to be able to jack the suspension arm up itself to be able to line this nut up now you can just extend the shock slightly as well to help you out and then when you think you got it right you can pop your bolt through happy days now I'm just going to get this one secured up and then I'm going to get around the other side and do the same. Okay, so what I've done here is um, simulate the van um, going over a really bad pothole um, and the suspension itself going up into the arch. So the wheel's gone right up, everything's compressed as much as it will go. This is to show you at the moment that I don't need the chassis mod. So I don't need to trim any of my chassis away. I've got plenty of clearance. This is still on the Stance Plus springs, but obviously introducing the gas shock. If I was to go to a smaller spring, um, like the Gaz Ultra Low Kit, or even one of the big expensive brands, then yes, I probably would need to do a chassis mod. But for now, I don't. There she is, back down on the ground managed to gain myself a nice little tuck because we're all after a little tuck aren't we uh, and then if I see the front managed to get some skinnier tires or a more of a low profile these are two three five thirty five twenties I might be able to drop the front a little but we're gonna go for a little test drive check out the rear end see how it feels and I'll get back to you we are on the little test run. Um, I have to say, I am really impressed so far. It's nowhere near as wallowy in the back end. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have found that, if you've um, removed your adjusters and things like that and got it as low as possible. Um, well, you know, as low as the stance kit and the rear will go. It's, you find it, I found, I found it was a little bit bouncy. Um, it just sort of, you go over a bounce and it just sort of carried on. Um, this, although, yeah, it feels quite good actually. Let's go over that bump. Yeah, I mean, you're, hit, you're hitting the bump, you're feeling it, but it's not got the after kick. Um, yeah, loads better. Uh, so yeah, proper chuff with that. Let's get back to the workshop and uh, finish up. So see you guys in a sec. 
and that's it guys the gas shocks that I put in in the rear I've taken it for a test drive uh, the ride is so much so much better it's unreal um, and I haven't really got it dialed in yet I've just literally gone to eight um, uh, there's 19 stages or whatever so I've just gone halfway uh, and the ride's really really nice um, I'll stick a link in the description um, of where I got them from um, and then if you guys are interested in getting yourself a set so you can sort of upgrade your stance kit then I'll show you where I got them from um, just a quick shout out to the wheels um, these wheels that I've stuck on here are the new wheels you can't really see them oh you can actually you can't well they're 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 epic uh, I'm really pleased with them um, but I am going to go for a color change so comment below um, what color you think I should go for um, bronze seems to be um, the go-to color at the moment that's quite common so maybe go for something different but yeah smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this is Tom this is T-Dubs see you all soon